Hello everyone. Welcome back to Pokemon. Oh, Pikachu's awake. Never mind. You woke up since the last episode. Anyways, hello everyone. Welcome back to Pokemon. My name is Dario. In the last part, we beat Brock of the Pewter City Gym and got our first gym badge. So hopefully that guy that was bothering us the last time, blocking us from continue, continuing, will finally go away. Pokemon centers are wonderful. They heal Pokemon completely. Even conditions like sleep, burn, poison, and others are cured. Yawn. When Jigglypuff sings, Pokemon get drowsy. Me too, Snore. That poor guy's just like stuck there forever. Perpetually on the couch. Huh? Team Rocket is at Mountain Moon? Huh? I'm on the phone. Scram! Uh-oh. Looks like there's some funny business going down over by Mountain Moon, which we'll take a look at. So, I don't know why you keep showing the map, I guess it's just a good representation of things. Uh, as you can see, there's really not too many ways to go. Um, this is where we came from, uh, Pallet Town, Viridian City, and then now we're at Pewter City. So the only way we can go from here is to the right, which will be... Oh, there's a little cave right there, Diglett's Cave. And then go to the right, so that's going to be Route 3. So that's what we're going to be doing in this part. And I actually just thought of this just now, but what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try to do two things at once here. Because I'm going to try to knock out the trainers that are going to be all over Route 3. Because if you thought there were a lot in Viridian Forest, there's going to be a ton over here. Um, that guy that was there before, he usually just kind of is standing else. Is he over here? I thought you could find him elsewhere and talk to him. Maybe he just disappears completely. Anyway, so we're over here at Route 3, and as you can see, there's already three trainers right here, four. And there's a little bit more over there. So what I'm actually going to do is... Well, I'm going to save first. But um, I'm going to end up kind of doing like two things at once, so hopefully it's not too disorienting. Uh, I'm going to be going through and going after the trainers here. And, hold on, something's bothering me. There we go. I think I fixed it. I don't know why my the camera footage is just looking crooked, and it's kind of bothering me. I don't really know why. Does that kind of fix it? Yeah, that's a little bit better. Okay, there we go. Um, but as I was saying, uh, so I'm going to be fighting the trainers here but then what I also what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go and catch the Pokemon of the previous areas so while I'm doing the trainer battles I'm also there's going to be like a little video elsewhere or I'll probably what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to show myself <laughs> catching the Pokemon on the big screen and then on a tiny screen you're just going to see me going through the battles of this area just because it just it's going to take a while I like to multitask and do many things at once so uh, without further ado let's go ahead and get started hello everyone we're here over in Viridian City and before we get started on our little Pokemon expedition we're going to come buy some Pokeballs I already currently have five so I'm just going to buy ten uh, it seems really pricey, but I'm going to end up using them at some point, point or another, so, you know, it's not too bad. And besides, what else are you going to use the money for? Um, well, actually, there's a lot you could use money for in this game, but we're not going to... Well, we'll worry about that when we get to, when we get to those areas, but... Um, so, to kind of give you an idea of what we're going to do right now, um, and as I already said, like, you can see in the corner, of, I'm grinding on Route 3 currently. Um... So, the Pokemon that you're going to find on Route 1 are going to be... We, we kind of came across them already, you know, going back and forth so much. It's going to be P Pidgey and Rattata. Um, those we can find also on Route 2 and Viridian Forest... Uh, Route 2 and stuff like that, and in Viridian Forest. So, I'm not going to go down to Route 1, there's really no point. Uh, but I did have to come all the way back over here for Route 22. Uh, because there's a couple poke There's one actually one Pokemon here that you can only find here this early in the game. Well, actually, I was right. Two. There's two Pokemon you can only find, but one of them we already caught, which is Mankey. So this is the other Pokemon, which is Sparrow. So we're going to head and do a Thunder Wave. 
and it's a low enough level to where I should be able to throw a Pokeball and catch it no problem. So let's hope things go that easy. Perfect. Alright, Sparrow was caught. So when you catch a Pokemon, as we've already discovered, it uh, gives you all the information of it. Inept at, flying, how, inept at flying, flying high, however, it can fly around very fast to protect its territory. Do you want to nickname a uh, Sparrow? No. So, we could also catch Nidoran male and female over here, but you could also do that on Route 2, so I'm just going to go up and hope we encounter them. Um, so, I never used a Sparrow personally. Uh... Actually, wait, I think in one playthrough I did, uh, of a later Pokemon game, I used, I used Sparrow and its evolution. Uh, it's alright. <laughs> That's all I have to say about it. I barely remembered it just now until I was discussing it. But, uh, it does get Peck early on, so you can have an easier time with, uh, with, uh, Grass Pokemon, uh, and Bug Pokemon. So... Uh, here's another Pokemon we're going to be catching, which is uh, Rattata. Uh, I never used Rattata, or its evolution, actually. Um, it's a normal type, if I recall right. And it it has it has this ability uh, called Hyper Fang, I, I believe in this game, that can like have the HP. Uh, not right now, but when it gets you know higher in levels, it can learn a move called Hyper Fang. And uh, it's actually kind of good to... It's, it's a good Pokemon. It, I just personally don't like using it just because... I, I don't know. I just don't like the way it looks. It's a rat. I mean... <laughs> but then again, I guess Pikachu's a rat too. But at least it's kind of like a cool looking rat. So... Uh, I'm kind of getting worried here because... This Rattata keeps breaking out. Okay, I'm kind of getting annoyed now. I just wasted like four balls. Uh... I'll use the freshly caught Sparrow we got to try to knock it down a little bit. I kind of regret not going to recover its health. Alright. Perfect. It's like, it's like probably at the best possible level we can, we can work with right now, so... Um, can't believe I wasted four Pokeballs, but... There we go. Rat. Well, chew on anything with its fangs. If you see one, it is certain that more 40 more live in the area. So, uh... You know, it's uh, the first time I, I played these games, uh, I always just caught my Pokemon and that was it. I never bothered with it. It was actually my brother that kind of inspired me to go back and and catch Pokemon. Because, you know, before I used to think, like, why? It's a waste of money. You're spending Pokeballs. You're spending your time. It's like a waste of time and money. But then, you know, when I saw him doing it on a, uh, you know, when he was playing the, game, the games once, it kind of got me thinking, like... I was like, well, why, why are you going around collecting Pokemon? I was like, well, I mean, that's kind of the point. And it was kind of like, I mean, he's right. <laughs> like, and so it was just, it was kind of a weird thing where I just, I don't know why I never thought of it. Like, yeah, I mean, the, the it is, they do say catch them all. So why don't I? Um, we're probably going to have an issue with these Caterpies because, uh... Well, I saved, so, you know, hopefully I'll get lucky again. Um, I have the guide with me. Um, not that I'm planning on using it for for anything. Here, I'll show you without having to move the camera. This is what it looks like. Reversed, of course. Um, I, I have it here not for, you know, purposes. Like, I, you know, can't play this game on my own, but rather... Uh, so that way, like, I don't forget any Pokemon, because, I mean, as much as I play these games, I don't memorize all the Pokemon in a particular route or grass patch. So, uh, hopefully this quick attack won't kill it, this Metapod, and we can catch it. Ca uh, Metapod is the evolution of Caterpie. And should be good enough to catch now. 
Um, Caterpie evolves into Metapod, and then Metapod evolves into uh, Butterfree, which I already stated before that Butterfree is a pretty good Pokemon. Um, it's really good for uh, early in the game, and then later in the game it's kind of... Uh, it kind of falters a bit, but I mean... With enough dedication, like, okay, are you serious? <laughs> why is this, why am I not catching this Metapod? I'm like wasting all these Pokeballs. I'm kind of getting annoyed. Jeez, man. So, yeah, so, but you can really beat the game, the, these games with any Pokemon you'd like, honestly. Uh, harden, hardens its shell to protect itself. However, a large impact may cause it to pop out of its shell. Um, you know, I, I, I could have caught a Caterpie and then evolved into Metapod, but I mean, Metapod's right there, I might as well do it. And, uh, Verdian Forest also currently has Pidgey, so that's where I was hoping to catch one also. And then, you could also catch, uh, Pid Pidgeotto here, too, with, uh, Pidgey's evolution. Normally you're unable to, like you weren't able to do in Red and Blue, However, they have Pidgeotto in Pokemon Yellow, like, as a reference to the anime, because there's an episode where uh, Ash catches a Pidgeotto in Viridian Forest, so... It was a nice little touch that they added. It was something they really didn't have to do, but... Uh, the only problem is catching that Pidgeotto is uh, kind of hard. I think it only appears 1% of the time. So... Uh, I'll roam around a bit and try to get it. Um... At a certain point, though, if it takes too long or I miss, you know, I don't have enough balls, then I don't have enough Pokeballs, then I'll just, I'll come back later or something. But I at least wanted to come back and try to show off, like, all the Pokemon here. I know we came, came across a decent amount of them already, but, I mean, I'm trying to show you all the Pokemon here, but it just, just Metapod's day, I guess. Now, as opposed to later Pokemon games, uh, if, if all Pokemon are in a certain area, like a certain route, like, then it's like that whole, like, route, that whole section, like, it's not like a certain patch of grass will, will, will have a certain amount of, will have certain Pokemon. Later Pokemon games do that, but as far as the originals, like, if you're on a certain route and it says, like, a Pokemon will come there, then it'll come anywhere on that patch of grass in the route. I believe, I mean, I... I'm pretty sure that's the case. Um, hmm, go for this quick attack. Hope it doesn't kill it. Just had to be a critical, didn't it? I mean, the good news is if you if you follow Pokemon, you do get some experience out of it. So it's it's also worthwhile in that regard to come look around. The only problem is this Caterpie is level 3. I'm just going to catch it just so that way, well, I'm, I'm going to need to. It works the other way around, like if I caught a Caterpie and then evolved it, but I can't really down evolution. You know, you can't really go down, de-evolve. So, knowing my luck though, I'm going to waste the rest of my Pokeballs trying to catch this damn thing. Yep. Yeah. Uh... I could try to switch to another Pokemon. They're all gonna die. I'll just try this Metapod, let's see what happens. Oh, well, that ain't gonna happen. Uh, <laughs> uh, Sparrow has Peck, crap. I might have to go... <sighs> okay, just please don't tackle attack. And please... <sighs> And it just had to be a critical, just to, just to rub it in my face. Um, yeah, let's grow it. Let's just go for it. I'm... This is not turning out how I expected at all. These Pokemon are not usually this hard to capture. Like, I've wasted more Pokeballs than I've used to catch these Pokemon. And like I said, it's it's actually quite bothersome because they normally aren't this hard to catch. You can typically catch them at such low levels with just a Pokeball. Oh, of course, my last one. 
So, here's Caterpie's thing. Uh, if you touch the feeler on the top of its head, it will release a horrible stink to protect itself. So... <laughs> Watch, it's gonna be that Pidgeotto. Oh, okay, thank god. I would've, like... I would've been... Ugh, I'm not even gonna say. So... <laughs> um... I'm gonna go heal these Pokemon and then go buy some more Pokeballs, spend some more money that I did not want to spend. Uh, I mean, I guess I didn't have to even go and try to, you know, capture these Pokemon, but gotta catch them all, right? I mean, that's, that's the whole thing. Wow. All my money. All my money is just so gone right now. What a shame. And you know, it's... The, the biggest bothering part, too, is that... I was hoping to buy some repels. Uh, I don't even know if they're available, actually. They might might not even be. But uh, repels basically make it to where like you, you spray yourself with it. And for like a certain amount of steps, uh, in this particular case, 50, uh, you'll avoid those kind of, you know, you'll avoid Pokemon, like, uh, Pokemon encounters. It's actually quite handy, especially during a playthrough when you're gonna be talking and come across a lot of different Pokemon. Um, but I'm so broke now, I don't think I could afford it. Because I spent all my money on Pokeballs. As I was saying before, there's, there's a lot of, there's not a ton of stuff to buy in this game, but there's quite a bit you can, and, uh, but, and also I think what I said in the first part too is that you have a finite amount of money in this game. You can't rebattle trainers, so whatever you get is what you get. Um, Nidoran female, a mild mannered Pokemon that does not like to f uh, fight. Beware its small horns, uh, secret, secret venom. So that's our first instance of a Pokemon going to a box. Um, when you catch when your when your whole Pokemon party is full, which for the first time actually it actually is this game. So you've got a full team of Pokemon. Don't worry, we're not going to keep them. Um, yeah, uh, I guess the the ball just like teleports back to uh, back to you know the PC. Uh, I got a little confused because I, I keep forgetting later games they do show a little symbol here, right there, that indicate the, that Pokemon's captured. So I was looking at it, I was like, wait a second, I didn't, I didn't capture Radita? Like, I swore I did. So the other Pokemon we're cur currently looking for is Nidoran female, or Nidoran male. Um... Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow didn't have uh, gendered Pokemon like uh, the next games did. Meaning that, yeah, they're just all just no gendered Pokemon. Uh, I guess you could pretend if you really wanted to, since um, gender doesn't usually play too big of a role in Pokemon. Usually, I said. Uh, versus this game where it doesn't at all. See, it's the kind of thing that happens. You kind of forget what Pokemon you're looking for. <laughs> after a bit. Uh, and I guess I could show this off just to make sure. So if you look here at a Pokemon that you haven't captured yet, you can actually go to the area and you can see the different areas it's, uh, you know, located at. So I guess I, if I really wanted to, I can wait to come back and try to capture a male. Um, but I'll give it, I'll give it another try or two, see what happens. Ah, here we go, finally. So we'll go ahead and do a Thunder Wave since that makes Pokemon a little easier to capture. And then we're gonna go ahead and switch to our... we'll do Rattata. Another cool part of, of going out to capture Pokemon like this is that it does give me an opportunity to use Pokemon I never otherwise would use. Um, so, you know, normally 
wouldn't be using a Rattata, but we're actually, we actually have to in this case to try to lower its HP. Now don't critical, don't critical! Whew, alright, good. So let's see if we can do another good job here. Alright. Its large ears are always kept upright. If it senses danger, it will attack with a poisonous sting. Uh, I don't think I said it, but yeah, I, I never really used the Nidoran family. Um, I think they just, to me, looked ugly. Because <laughs> they also look like rats. I don't know, maybe I just have like some bias against rats. Or something. Or... Or probably too, because there's uh, there's a lot more Pokemon you're going to com come across in this game, so you know you don't want to get, at least for me, I guess, uh, like uh, the mentality is like, okay, don't get too attached too soon. So I'm going to give it ten battles. If I can't find this P Pidgeotto, then that's that's it. I'm, I'm just going to move on. So, that's two. Alright, you know, we'll come back for that Pidgeotto another time. Um, I kind of don't want to come back for it another time, I just want to get it, get it over with. But who's to say I'd even be able to capture it, knowing my luck I'd knock out the freaking thing. Alright, I give up. I spent a good amount of extra time trying to find this thing. I think I'm up to, up to like almost 20 battles now. So, I'm just gonna... Whatever, I'll find another Pidgeotto in another way. One more time, one more battle. Let it be it! <laughs> Alright, I'm done. Let's get out of here. Alright, so with this route cleared of trainers, we can pretty much just walk safely by. Um, are you storing your Pokemon on your PC? Each box can hold 20 Pokemon. And so, it's kind of interesting because everybody does have like post-battle, like, uh, di you know, their dialogue's different. Avoid fights by not letting people see you. So, it's usually worthwhile to do. I'll try to... I always forget to talk to them after. I usually just move right past them, but I'll, I'll like I said, see what I can do. Train Pokemon are stronger than the wild ones. And then this rat also has their own Pokemon too, which I'll go ahead and walk in and try to capture as well. Let's see if we can find them. And we already have a Rattata, so I don't know why it's showing up again. Uh, we'll go ahead and battle this trainer. I'll show this battle at least. Eek, did you touch me? Oh, that's what I was looking for, Jigglypuff. But after looking at the little map here, uh, I guess you actually can catch a Jigglypuff in this version. I guess just to make it feel a little bit more exclusive. Uh, but we can catch a Sandshrew, which is what... Uh, did you just get a critical on me? Alright. Let's go ahead and switch the Mankey. Actually, Jigglypuff is a normal type, so we should be able to knock it out swiftly with a low kick. Cool. That's it? <laughs> I know, right? Route 4 is at the foot of Mount Moon. That... You know, I, I hopefully I addressed it earlier about the whole, uh, you know, just, just some of the dialogue that these characters have are, are just quite funny. Because they're just, well, I mean, if you just think about the whole thing in general, it's quite funny. Because, like, they're just standing there waiting for other trainers to come in and bother them. Like, they tell us, like, oh, go to the Pokemon Center to heal your Pokemon, blah, blah, blah. And then they don't even do it themselves. So it's not like they're much better. 
Whew, I better take a rest. Groan. That tunnel from Cerulean takes a lot out of you. So we made it to the end of Route 3, and the famous Mount Moon that we've been hearing so much about is just up ahead. Ouch! I tripped over a rocky Pokemon Geodude. And we got a Pokemon, uh, uh, we got a Pokemon Center right here. Welcome to our Pokemon Center. We heal your Pokemon back to perfect health. So I think that'll about do it for this episode. Hopefully by the time I cut everything and splice everything together, this comes out to about a normal episode. Uh, hopefully it was kind of interesting. We got a chance to look at, well, Pokemon. I mean, that's what these whole games are about. Uh, we didn't get every single one that's available to us yet, but I feel like we got quite a bit. And it's not over yet. I mean, we'll have plenty of opportunity to go back and, and look. And plus, the farther we get in the game, the more that are going to be available to us. So I'm not going to worry about it too much. Um, so yeah, next episode we're going to be tackling Mount Moon. Uh, which, as I said, we heard so much about. Whether it's the museum, uh, with the moonstones, or with uh, the, the various trainers that have alluded to it. So... I, I would lie to you and say it's going to be fun, but it most likely is not. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me that sand true. Oh, never mind. <laughs>